Greetings, my name is Stephen Feuerstein. I'm the Oracle Developer Advocate for PL SQL, and I'm here to offer some tips on how to use the no copy parameter hint to improve the performance of at least some of your subprograms. Let's take a look at some code. So let's take a look at the impact of adding the no copy parameter hint to a parameter list. I've created a package called no copy test and it declares an array of strings, maximum length 32767, indexed by integer, and two different procedures, pass by value, pass by reference. And as you can see, the only difference is that I've added no copy to the pass by reference. I initialize the array, and then I'm going to check the performance of these two approaches. OK, let's take a look. <clears throat> so pass by value, I pass in my array of numbers, which are actually converted to strings, and I, and I simply calculate the number of elements in the array. So I don't really do anything with the array, and I certainly don't change it. I just pass it in. Pass by reference, the same thing. All I do is get the count, but I've added the no copy hint. When I initialize, I simply use the array size declared as a constant in my package, so it's easy for you to adjust if you want to run your own test for varying sizes of arrays, and I populate that array by value performance. What I'm going to do is use DB mesh utility get CPU time to calculate the number of hundreds of seconds elapsed CPU time to get my job done. So first I'll get the start time. I'll run my pass by value n number of times and the default that I've currently have it set to is 20 iterations. And then I'm going to show the elapsed time, which means I'll call get CPU time a second time minus the start time from it. That gives me the total number of hundreds of seconds. And I'll do exactly the same thing for the pass by reference version. So simply pass in the collection, get the count, and do that n number of times. Here's my little test script. I initialize my array with the 10,000 rows, run my by value performance, run my by reference performance, and here's the result I get. In fact, I'll run it again while we're watching, while I'm explaining. So what I see is that it took me two seconds to do the by value passing the parameter. And again, it, the procedure is not really doing anything except accepting the array, but it's copying it in and copying it out. And as you can see, the second time I ran it, 2.35 seconds. How much did it take to do that by reference? Less than 100th of a second in both cases. So you can see that simply by adding the no copy hint, I stopped the copy in and copy out process, and that has an enormous impact on performance. At least it does in this case when I'm using an array of large strings. If I had an array of integers instead, the cost, the performance cost of passing in, copying in, and copying out would be less. So the impact on performance of no copy definitely depends on the size of the array and also the data type in the array. But in either case, it will help your performance. Well, let's review the takeaways from this short video on the no copy feature. And the number one takeaway is apply the no copy parameter hint to your out and in out parameters, especially the big ones, collections, records, object types. If you do this, you can save on performance of the subprograms and you can also reduce the PGA memory allocated since you don't have to copy in and copy out. Second takeaway, which I have not covered in detail in this video, I'll cover it in a related video, but it's important to mention here, when your subprogram with an out or, or in out parameter using no copy fails, then do not trust the values in the actuals that were passed to the subprogram. They can actually be partially changed because you're passing them by reference. Third, use compile time warnings from the PL SQL compiler to automatically notify you of opportunities to apply the no copy parameter hint. Again, check out my related video. And we'll finish up with resources. Yes, there are the three related videos, background on passing by reference and value, side effect of no copy and compile time warnings. In terms of the reference files, I showed you the no copy performance script in this video. You can also check out the no copy performance varied script, which basically expands upon the one I showed you today in this video and offering the use of conditional compilation to easily vary the scripts to test global versus local variables, strings versus integers being copied in your collection, and so forth. Both of these scripts can be found in my demo zip, available from the Oracle Learning Library or the PL SQL Learning Library. Within that, oracle.com slash ol slash PL SQL. 
Hope you learned a lot from this video and happy PL SQL coding.